A favela nunca foi reduto de marginal A favela nunca foi reduto de marginal São Paulo é uma cidade de 17 milhões de pessoas a place of enormous challenges in the area of housing, poverty and favelas, but it is also a place with great potential. The future of the church depends on how it will go about evangelizing people in the large cities, who generally have a different mentality to rural people. Eu tenho uma igreja bem estruturada, mas que essa igreja We have a church in Paraguay that is well structured, but when I came here to Brazil, everything was different. When you study theology, you are on a theoretical level. Here in the community, you see that reality can be different from theory. In a community like this, I see what my spiritual vocation is, and this helps me to grow as a missionary. To work with spirit and missionaries and seminarians is very good because we can rely on each other in a common mission. We speak the same language and our missionary vocation unites us, so we come together and succeed in proclaiming the gospel and doing mission together. When they came, they said, Eduardo, from now on you can count on us. You're not on your own any longer. Sure, the plant needs to be watered and we need people who understand the religion so that we can pass this knowledge on. For me, our presence here is very enriching. Just being here with them, talking about their problems and joys, that is being with people. We went into a house that had no light. All it had was a candle for prayers. I asked if anyone had ever seen a miracle. The woman in the house said, I did. I said, where? She replied, here. You can tell everyone that here we are raised from the dead from the time we have lived in the mud, in the dirt, in death, in disgrace, in misery. Life is appearing. We are experiencing a miracle. We are raised from the dead. Being with God's people, we find strength to continue our mission service and our goal to consecrate ourselves to God. Nothing makes me happier than to be living with the people of God as a consecrated religious. This is vocation. Whether it be in the intimacy of prayer, in community liturgy, or in his pastoral activity, the spirit and missionary keeps alive the dream of Claude and Francis to be the presence of God who is liberator in those places where the church needs him most.